uh, example of good teaching. I uh, I know when I see it, and I can't always see myself in the act, but uh, I I I know when I see it. Uh, for instance, Jim Malone across the way, he's a fantastic teacher. So I I observe and steal good stuff. And it's all good stuff. I uh, but what I do see is good learning. I uh, in the student. Uh, here in the the following clip is a good example of that. Uh, it's a classic rotor ride, and we have a rotating cylinder, which is a five-gallon bucket duct taped to a rotating platform. Uh, and the students determine the period of revolution that would have the the mass clean to the side of the bucket. But the follow-up to that is, will a mass uh, a, a greater mass, twice the mass as the the mass that they experimented with, cling to the side of the bucket at the same period? Or does this bucket have to rotate faster to accommodate the heavier mass? So uh, the students set out to, to test the, uh, the question, and, and we can do that in the laboratory. It's, it's a good thing to see. So yes, uh, teaching moments, uh, are there good ones? Uh, yeah, I, I believe there are. But I'm telling you, there's plenty of good learning moments or good examples of learning it in a classroom here at Mercersburg. Uh, so here we go.